How's it everybody? Money Shot here and welcome again to Hawaii Crab Shooters. In this video, I'll be sharing with you what I feel is the best crab strategy for beginners, the Iron Cross. Check it out. So before we start the video, I want to say a big mahalo, which mahalo means thank you in Hawaiian, to my friend Mel over at Craps Hawaii. Go and check out his YouTube channel, Craps Hawaii. Mel has many, many years of experience in the craps game, and he shares so many different successful betting strategies on his channel. Many of these strategies that help myself and is also the foundation of my money shot betting system. So go check out his channel at Craps Hawaii. So here's what Mel sent to me in the mail. He sent me a dry fit Craps Hawaii shirt. This is cool. Thanks Mel. And then the back, Craps Hawaii with the dice. Dry fit to keep me cool in this hot Hawaii weather. Also, Mel gave me some Craps Hawaii custom chips with the Craps Nation on the back. Check it out. And also his trademark 130 Aloha special chip. This is again why you got to check out his channel and learn this 130 Aloha special betting strategy. It's a foundation to all of his betting as well. And not only that, Mel sent me some Craps Nation dice with serial numbers and everything. So I've never seen black dice before. This is pretty cool, but with, especially with Craps Nation on there. Uh, so thank you, Mel, and thank you, Craps Nation. Thank you guys for all the information, and the wealth of knowledge that you guys share with the Craps community. I appreciate it. I've learned a lot from you folks and I hope I can contribute just as much as well. So with this being my first video on betting strategies, I'd like to first explain to you on what criteria I use to review betting strategies. So my first criteria is total investment. For each betting strategy, I need to know how much I'm investing into this betting strategy for each single player. That way I can calculate my correct bankroll to last me the whole table and I know what my risk amount is going to be. The second criteria is my average profit per hit. I want to know how much I will make from one hit after I lay out the betting strategy. Um, it could be a range. It doesn't have to be a specific amount. It can be a range from $30 to $60 that I could yield. Uh, but that is an important information that I need to know is the average profit per hit. So the third criteria I use, which to me is the most important of them all, is what I call the HBE, number of hits to break out even. A lot of crafts players don't even bother to know this and that's what gets them in trouble. They can try new strategies and they'll lose money and then they'll blame the system, which is not the system. All systems are good, but you got to know what your number of hits to break out even is. I know some strategies that only need two hits to get your HBE. And I know some strategies that take eight hits to get their HBE. Both systems are great, but they have a different HBE. This is super important and a lot of players just don't understand it. If you're going to play crap seriously and you're going to try different betting strategies, you need to know what each strategy's HBE is. It'll help you in transitioning help you when to change out to a different strategy all by just knowing when your hits to break out even point is. All right, so let's get to the iron cross. So I'm going to be playing five players, 61 on for the iron cross. 
and with a three hundred dollar bankroll. So three hundred. If we we're gonna we're gonna be doing sixty one across half the table for the sake of the video would be five shooters, so about approximately three hundred. So how you set up the Iron Cross in Vegas now with COVID? It's ten dollars minimum usually, and your five, six, and eight you want it to be at least uh, one and a half the times the amount in the field. So we would get fifteen dollars here on the five, eighteen dollars here on the six, and eighteen dollars here on the eight. So total of eighteen thirty-six. 51 61 all right and we're going to roll for five shooters random rolling two dice because i'm going to use this on the random shooters that's why i'm not playing the pass line bet so dice out nine center field nine again um come out roll you don't want you you don't normally place your iron cross to this uh after the come out roll. Um, so I just set it up just for, um, just to show you how you place your bet. So no win on the nine, dice out. Three, three craps, three craps. So three pays $10 here on the field. That's one hit here. Three craps, point is nine. Dice out. Three again. Three craps. Three craps. Three craps. Pays ten dollars in the field. It's our second hit. Move this up here. <clears throat> Dice out. Eight. Eight. Easy eight. You will lose on the field. But you would get paid 21 here so you would net $11 here so you take this here and you put $10 back here this is our third hit all right dice out point is nine five no field five no field five again you lose the field you get paid 21 11 profit and you put back the 10 on the field don't forget to put your field back it's four hits already dice out nine winner nine point winner nine nine we get paid on the field it's on the come out make sure you take off your field bet because these would bets are not normally working so we right now we have one two three four five we have 51 we have 61 here um, but you know we want to get one more hit so that we can still stay in the game and then that's where we'll get our um, HBE our hits to break out even all right come out roll eight eight mark the eight mark the eight now don't forget to place your field bet we're looking at one more to get our HPE, our hits before breaking even. Eight, winner eight, winner eight. Now, lose the field, but we get paid 21. Now we know we are free rolling now. We hit our, our hits to break out even. We're one, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 63 dollars. So we made already two dollars, everything else is uh free rolling at this time so i'm gonna just leave it like that eight remove your field bet again dice out nine nine mark the nine don't forget to put your field bet back now it's profit time so once you hit your hbe your hits to break out even now everything is profit four four dice out 
hard six hard six lose the field paid 21 we put back our 10 back on the field nice out yo 11 yo 11 good roll Place the field ten dollars Dice out nine winner nine. We got a hot roller right now. Nine field pays the nine. Take this off. Puck is off. Remove your field bet temporarily. And we're playing again. We're rolling. Three craps. Three craps is not going to hurt us because we're not paying the pass line. Four, four, easy four, mark the four. The four, place back our field bet into our iron cross. I uh, need to get more money for the bank. All right, dice out. We got a hot shooter here. Seven out, seven out. Everything is down. All right. So we did pretty good on this shooter here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hits. And we got a profit of 30, 40, 50, 60, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 61 is our initial investment that goes in back here. And we made a profit of $43. $43. Not bad, not bad. Good roll, 43 here. Now, come out roll again. We're gonna go up. We'll play it like how you're gonna play it in the casino. Dice out, you don't lay nothing yet. Dice out. Yo, 11, winner 11, the natural way. Dice out. Five, five, no field five. Now you're gonna set up your 61. You're gonna put Ten dollars on the field. One and a half times on the five, which is fifteen, and one and a half times on the six and eight, and that'll be three. Let's get some change. All right, so we're all set up on our iron cross. Point is five. Dice out. Six, six, easy six, field down, six pays 21. We go back on the field, that's our one hit right there. Remember the iron cross, only thing bad about it is you need a high number of hits to get your HBE, your hits before breaking out even. So three, three, Three craps pays that. That's three craps. Second hit. Dice out. Midnight. This is the benefit about the iron cost because you can here on my table it pays triple. So you get an extra bonus. That's actually considered a three hit as well. So one, two, three. This is a three hitter. That's why the Iron Cross is special against any other betting strategy. Dice out. Three craps. Oh, a lot of craps in this game. All right. We got $10 on the field. Dice out. Nine, nine, nine. Center field nine pays ten dollars. Dice out. Seven out. Seven out. So off button. Take this off. Everything comes down. And let's count up our winnings. Let's see if we made our money back. Luckily we hit the 12. That gave us a three hitter. Uh, we needed six hitters, so we got 30, 40, 50, 61, 
61 back, our initial investment, and we made $10. All right. All right, sorry about that. Uh, my neighbor had his blower going on in the middle of our second shooter. Um, but it's quiet now, and that sucks when you have your crap stable in your outdoor garage. Uh, you cannot control a lot of the uh, outdoor noise. So, all right, we're on our third shooter. Um, we did make profits on the first two. So we're on the come out roll. Come out roll. Six. Mark the six. Easy six. Set up your iron cross. $10 on the field. Three, fifteen on the five. 18 on the 6 and the 8. We need change here again. All right. So we're good. Iron cross set. Now we just roll. And hopefully we can hit more than 6. 3. 3 craps. A lot of craps in this dice. Like I said, $10 pays the field. That's our first hit. Dice out. Five, no, no field five. So your five is down, but we get paid twenty-one, and we lock this ten dollars up, eleven dollars up. Put ten dollars back on the field. That's our second hit. All right. So point is six. Iron cross out. Dice out. We already have two hits. Eight. Easy eight. Easy eight. Lose the field. But we get paid 21 here. We make $11. Our third hit, put this 10 back on the field. Dice out. Nine, nine. Center field, nine. And we got that field. $10 here. So our fourth hit. Dice out. Four on the short roll. Four. Easy four. We have the four in the field. We get another ten dollars here. Dice out. Eight. Easy eight. Lose the field, but we get paid twenty-one here. That is our wow. One, two, three, four, five, six hit. That's our HBE. Our hits to break out even. Now we know everything else is profit. Three craps, three craps. Pays the field. Dice out. Yo 11, yo 11. Field bet pays 10. Dice out. Five, no field five. Thing about this iron cross lose the field iron cross we get to pay we get paid 21 we are getting to collect ten dollars in every shot that's not a seven and um, it's easy you just collect 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 throughout the whole game drink your beer like I said have fun this is a no-brainer uh, system that's why it's so easy for beginners to learn dice out Seven out, seven out. See, when we talk so much, sometimes they, people are superstitious. You talk a lot, you get that seven. But, well, we made profit at least. Everything comes down. And we had made, we have our $61 back here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61. That's our 61 back on our third shooter, and our profit is $33. Not bad, $33. All right, that's our. Now we're coming out for our fourth shooter. Dice out. Fourth shooter. Five. Five. Mark the five. No field five. So we set up again our iron cross. 15, 
and ten dollars in the field all right dice out seven out point seven out that's where we're going to get hit pso we call them piece of shh you know what i mean piso point seven out kills any strategy so including the iron cross all right so we're down to our last shooter we didn't make any money on that shot but dice out fifth shooter halfway through there 12 midnight that would have been great for the field dice out six easy six sorry it rolled over easy six mark the six easy setup again ten dollars in the field tell your dealer put you 15 and 18 and 18 we're kind of short on that one um, so we're gonna borrow from here three two dollars and also three dollars there you go all right so dice out our iron cross is set we're good dice out three craps three craps that's one hit for us ten dollar per hit that's our average profit per hit six easy six lose the field yet pay 21 it's our 11 there ten dollars go back on the field second hit there dice out yo 11 yo 11 field winner third that's our third hit dice out we need six hits to go into profit easy six point winner six oh field comes down we get paid 21 here and the puck is off all right dice out seven seven is a winner i'm just gonna finish out this roll hope you guys can hear me dice out four easy four mark the four don't forget to put your ten dollars back on the field all right dice out seven out seven out all right we lost on this hand actually we hit one two three four hits on this one everything comes down so again we started with so after half the table five players we got our initial three hundred dollars back and a profit of six dollars so that's how the iron cross works so in summary as you can see the iron cross is super simple that's why i said this is the best strategy for beginners you basically set up your iron cross and you just collect so i call it the set it and forget it system you collect ten dollars at every hit trying to get that six hit um, we got lucky on some of them we hit the 12 that paid us three hits so we got there quicker but it's fun you don't have to stress you can have a beer with your friends if you're not playing serious this is a great strategy you just play you're in the game you're having fun you're cheering on the roller but it's perfect for you to not get hurt we didn't get hurt we had 2.7 outs and we still didn't get hurt we made actually six dollars profit on this round this half round i should call it but it's good you're on the table you're not losing your whole bankroll and you're just cruising but the downside about the iron cross is again because you're not getting damaged and you're not gonna lose your bankroll you obviously you're not gonna win a lot of profits so because there's no pressing involved and you just get a standard a uh, win per hit you're not going to get those huge wins like for people who have been pressing up and getting that compounding effect i should say but it's a safe system i recommend it for all beginners i taught this to my brother who lives in vegas who said he wanted to roll with me he didn't know nothing about craps 
taught him the Iron Cross in two minutes. And he was on the table having so much fun. And, you know, I don't have to teach him a lot. And he's just looking and watching and just praying that any number comes up. But, you know, have fun with this system. You're not going to get rich off this system, but it's a great foundation. It's a foundation for my money shot system as well. So I enjoy it. it it's a great foundation for a lot of great transition to a better, more complicated betting strategy so you can make more money at the table. But as for beginners, this is perfect. Learn this first. If I started from the beginning, like I said, this is the first thing I would want to learn is the Iron Cross. Have fun, make some money on the tables, stay safe. Thank you for watching Hawaii Crab Shooters and please help my channel by smashing that like button leave a comment and i'll be sure to reply back to you please share this video and most importantly please subscribe aloha